right. Well, we have Chef Stuart O'Keefe and Amy Phillips today. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for being on. We're so good. good. Yes. So good. Oh, good. Hey, well, you know, I know we have a lot of things to discuss, but I want to point out that you guys have a book out. Cook it, mm-hmm. spill what? it, throw it. Um, the Not So Real Housewives parody cookbook, unauthorized, of course. But this book, first of all, how did how did you two meet? Let's start there. Well, this is um, Stuart's great. This is Stuart's big idea. So, I mean, I would love. There's nothing I love more than taking credit for genius, <laughs> but I just can't do it today. I've got to give it to Stuart. It was his idea, and he reached out to me, and like, so you can take it from there, Stu. But I yeah, I mean, great. look, I watch Housewives. I go in and out of watching all of them. I probably religiously is New York, Beverly Hills, and now we'll see. Mm-hmm. And so, it was just like a thing where I was trying to come up with a, my second cookbook. And I was like looking at Housewives and I was like, well, that could be really, that could be a cool way to sell a book through kind of through the Housewives, you know, because mm-hmm. it has a fan base already. There's no cookbook out there that, you know, that celebrates them. I'm like, yeah. this could be really, really fun. And so I, you know, took it to my my manager in um, my book agent in New York. And she's like, that's really interesting. And I was going to New York like the next week to pitch mm-hmm. another idea with HarperCollins. And I just kind of brought it up in the meeting, kind of in the last five minutes of the meeting on the way out. And uh, they were like, oh, we want to hear more about that. I was like, oh, and I was like, shit. <laughs> and I was like, I don't have any like document or anything. This was just like something came It was just my an head. idea, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're like, and then they kept pursuing me like two, three, four weeks later. And I was like, Catherine, I don't fucking know who I'm going to do this with, you know? And so I was like, there's one person I said, but she's going to be too busy and she has a show on XM radio. And like, so I love busy. her so much. Busy. And I was like, she might think this is just like, what the fuck is this? You know? And so she's like, I'll reach out to her. So she reached out to Amy. Amy was like, let me mull it over for a few days. And then Amy came back was like, oh my God, like this makes so much sense. And that's how I mean, it, it came. You couldn't have picked a better duo for this. I mean, I don't think yeah. anybody else could have done this, honestly. No, nobody yeah, else like, could have done it, really. It's when you look at it now and the way it's come together, like, and like, I was looking at lots of different people, like, in like, you know, through Instagram and their accounts and stuff yeah. like that, like, who's super fans and all this kind of stuff. And then I was like, no, she like dresses up as, as them. And then I had this vision of like, oh, the cover could be like a The Last Supper type thing. And she would do all the different outfits and, I was like, no, it's got to be her. And like, I feel like she's a comedian, so she be able to write really well. And so just like making up things in my head that I didn't even know. <laughs> oh my God, this is like, you can't, no, you cannot. There's just, that's, that's the thing. It's like, I couldn't have envisioned this in any other format. Like it yeah. wouldn't have worked, I don't think. What, um, so Amy, like, obviously you are a huge part of it because you had to be most of the last supper. <laughs> what was your, um, so how did you initially get into like housewives and like how did you get into the whole bit like of doing the characters and stuff well my um my gateway drug show was the rachel zoe project so i, I started doing that was that you too did you used to watch the rachel Zoe? i think for a second i almost was like when um she got rid of brad i was like oh maybe i could apply and that could be my i was obsessed with the rachel zoe project because um, i just loved yes. how she was so yeah me too so that that was my foray into the the housewives world i started to do impressions of Rachel Zoe and how she was just bananas. And then I got into New York from there because they would always do marathons on Bravo, as we know. So watched a lot of New York. And then it was just like, oh my God, we want to sing her. And so I just started doing impressions of her. So that's kind of like how I began this whole journey. And I, I really haven't stopped. Uh, can't stop, won't stop. You and, better um, <laughs> not. <laughs> but you know, Stuart, it's so funny too, because literally today, um, people online did an article about pop culture cookbooks and uh-huh. it's like these parody cookbooks. So it was really interesting. And they included ours in that article. Thank and- God. <laughs> uh, thank you to people. Seriously. I mean, like, no, it's like this book, There's, it's never been done. It's so different. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like totally. a celebration. I was like, I was, I was so, so happy and so like, 
you know, it was amazing to have it on there. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. No, it's such a good point because when I was going through like, you know, the different slides and seeing all of the books that they were Mm. featuring, Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my gosh, like, of course there's one for like, you know, a game of Thrones and mean girls and friends and so many. And I was just like, oh my gosh, if I was going through this list, I would have been like, why isn't there a real housewife? So I'm like, yeah. oh my God, that, mm. because it was so, it feels like it was overdue to be done. Like that yeah. there, so much about the housewives is food. It's about drinking. It's about eating. It's at what, or not eating, going yeah. to a dinner party, not eating, but fighting. And it's always based around a dinner table or drinks. It's always about that. And so it just is so obvious to me that, you know, we, that this needed to be done. So with, with Stuart coming up with the idea, when I thought about it, I put two and two together. I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a genius idea. Like, I can't even believe it hasn't been done before. Um, And I, I do really like to cook. I, uh, you know, I'm getting better and better, but I swear like being a part of this, this whole process has been so exciting and to see Stuart come up with these like amazing recipes. Cause that's the other thing is like, we have a lot of jokes in the, in the book, mm-hmm. all of the uh, captions and all the little blurbs that I write are about the moment that we're celebrating that becomes a dish. The moment yeah. becomes a dish or the housewife becomes a dish. Mm-hmm. And when we're creating this, it was always so fun because it was like, oh, you forget like Stuart's a genuinely real, <laughs> amazing chef. So I would be like, well, we have to do something that involves, you know, Yolanda and her lemons. Like, what can we do that's lemony? And he would just be like, oh, what about a Dutch baby pancake? <laughs> would just like rattle off like all these options. And I'm like, oh my God, that's amazing. Or, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought of one dish using lemons, by the way. So that would have been it. A- <laughs> I mean, like that was one of the easy ones. I mean, there was yeah, ones that, was that were like a stretch for sure, but we got <laughs> around like, it in the end. So now did you come up with the titles of the dish, Amy? Or yes. was it a collaboration? Or because these are like fantastical. Yeah. I think it I was came up with most of them and then most of them, yeah, for sure. Um, there, gosh, but it but, was kind of like just, that there was always a collaboration, a conversation going. So like yeah. when we would talk about something, then Stuart would mention one thing and I would, you know, jump on that. And then we would just build, build, build until we got it. And then also there were always there were always options of titles. So mm. I would throw, I would throw Stuart like five titles and he'd be like, no, no, no. Yes. You know, the, that, yeah. that type of thing. And there was always a collaboration with that. Or, um, he would say like, let's add on to, you know, who going to check me, um, <laughs> blue cheese, but you know, dressing or a dip, it would be like, let's call like, it a Buffalo dip or, you know, like, he yeah. Would, like Amy would be like, time. who going to call me? And she's like blue cheese. And I'm like, Oh, we could do like a dip. That would be really yeah. cool. So a blue okay, cheese yeah, buffalo yeah. dip, and then it would go from there, or like like banana zanuck smoothie. Like that just wrote itself, you know. Right, right. Um, <laughs> it was like the, the blueberry pork. muffins. I mean, oh, yeah. that was great. The blueberry muffins are like, I was dying when I was and like, they're yeah. so good. <laughs> so they're good. So they good. they are so good. You have to make those. They're, they're unbelievable. Just, like, sinful. Like you will not stop eating them. Oh. Ridiculous. Um, yeah. You guys also did cocktail. I love the way you oh, laid it yes. out because it's really like, I want to throw like, a. have always wanted to do this, a housewives themed party, mm-hmm. but like now yes. I can actually, it makes sense because I can yeah. actually do the theme through and through. So like, mm-hmm. how did you guys, how did you come up with it? Were you trying to set it up kind of like a, like a menu where everything had its own category? Yeah. So it was easier to kind of people can mix and match is that kind of the theme so yeah I mean I I mean I can speak to that like so I had my first cookbook right and I always just like like it laid out kind of through you know obviously like you have your breakfast your brunch we had to have brunch in there because the ladies always go to brunch and Mm -hmm. obviously breakfast you know for the hangovers and all that kind of stuff but so that that was really easy then it was like the chicken and the pork and the pasta and the you know and stuff like that and um so stop um it's just things it's, it's hard when you have a literary Mac, agent you have a Mac, to do everything book. starts ringing and you're just you can't just but i just have to shut off the notifications the phone, at the top. The computer, do not disturb the Apple Watch. there you go and so <laughs> so um the first cookbook was laid out like pork chicken it was like really easy mm-hmm. because i always feel like when people yeah. are thinking about what they want to eat it always starts off with a protein 
Yes. And then it kind of goes from there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's just a lot easier to kind of go through the book that way. Mm-hmm. And then it's always like desserts and then finish off with drinks, you know? Sure. Yeah. Um, but I was excited that we got to do cocktails in this book because I never had drinks in my last book. And that was so much fun. And I think we, the cocktail chapter has the most photographs because I mean, it's just about drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, it really there, is. There's actually a photo and I was trying to find it. It's the, um, season of spritzer. Hamst- it's no, it's the Hamsterdam grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. Oh, but yeah. You guys, the attention to detail is what got me. There's a broken wine glass yeah. in the background. Yes! I fell yeah. out. I looked at my, I was like, this is <laughs> fabulous. Like they went the extra mile yeah. with the details. Amy was so. great with the details. I was like, it's fine, Amy. Let's just photograph it. Like, so you're like, no, put the fucking glass in. Like, you know, the food stylist already cut her hand. We we're trying to break it in the sink. It was just like this whole thing. It was funny. But your husband's in the polenta. The photograph of just, it's killing me. Like, I want to yeah. go cook this stuff. Like, and oh, I don't cook, but good. I want to, because it all looks tasty. And it is really, really good. And, you know, you mentioned about the menus because we did uh, one of the fun, the, the thing that I think is the most fun about the book are the menus in the back because it uh, it can dictate what kind of party you can have. We broke it down to like, if you're just going to have a, like an Orange County premiere party, you have a whole menu of Orange County inspired you know, items, food and drink. inspired. inspired. Trace Amigos <laughs> three layer dip. I mean, come on, next Wednesday. I can't help it here. I'm gonna yeah. definitely there's do this. Also, this is there's so like fun. A, this is fabulous. You do, um, there's like a slutty island bachelorette menu that <laughs> it's like a whole collaboration of um different you know items from different cities, and then there's the Bravo Bravo fucking Bravo dinner party, and that includes like all the different cities. So you have, and then you've got like a brunch, uh, is bitch better brunch. So there's just like all kinds of, it's not just, okay, there's a New York menu and there's like a Potomac menu. There's all the different city menus where we like mm-hmm. pick best of, and we put them together and what Stuart felt like this would be a great meal for, you know, a Potomac party. Yeah. But then have like a mashup of all the different cities. If you want to just blow it out and have like a real big housewives party, and it's so fun. And the drinks are really, really fun too. Like we had oh my gosh. hundred, we probably had like 50 drinks that we had to cut them down. Yeah. We had, I think there's like 105 recipes in the book and we had like 168, I want to say, or something. <laughs> I was just going to say, did you guys have to cut a lot out? Yeah, we did. And it was like you guys sad. were running the ideas, like they were coming out like oh, yeah. fast. Like Amy, I think when we first met, I think she, we wrote down like 35, like in like, 30 yeah. minutes. You know what yeah. I mean? We just That's like crazy. Yeah. It was there's so much to go to. There's all um, the food moments that dictate, you know, what what we would put in the book that have already been written. And yeah. then we just we took a lot of liberties which with moments and with housewives that we made into food that mm-hmm. probably shouldn't be food, but we did it, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, it's, it's just fantastic. like just going back over like even just like the soapy lemon chicken like it's amazing oh, right. like and that happened and that was like awesome you know and that was just yeah. I was like oh that's so easy I can easily write that recipe that's no problem you know those, those you were literally really like nice found ones. a new category for all those little those gems that we've gotten through the yeah. years of housewives they actually have it's almost like you put a face to it like it's food yeah. but it's like it, it has its own home it, it's mm-hmm. crazy no this it's, is a tri- it's a trip down like memory lane as well like you forget all those iconic moments sometimes yeah. oh of I course mean, even amy had to remind me of some of them and even amy had to go yeah. back and she was like oh my god i need to go back and watch the youtubes again and like figure yeah. out this moment what were they or like the psyche tv remember we watched that like so many times to see like what kind of cocktail it was yes and, yes, yes yes and i had to make it kind of look like what it was and the, it didn't even matter what it tasted like i'm like i need to make it look exactly like yeah, you know the like thing that. yeah but i, went, I, think I went back we were, and did i watched a lot of old housewives it was such a fun journey going back and watching it's one of my favorite things. ones too i oh, love that that is <laughs> this is so to the t it's crazy <laughs> The photo, I mean, the photographer did a, yeah. such an amazing job. The Riker job. Brothers, yeah. The Riker Brothers were incredible. They, The Riker Brothers did all of the, the shots of us together dressed up and mm-hmm. reenacting those moments. And then Hallwitz 
photography. Is that correct? Yeah. They did all the food photography and Stuart did some of the food photography himself. So wow. some, yeah. I know, which was, uh, yeah. You'd never, t- let me know which two in the book is shot with an iPhone. That should be a competition. We should do a competition for that. There's <laughs> yeah, two photographs shot idea. with my iPhone in the book. Um, you? Well, you know, the iPhone's now like a DSLR camera in your pocket. So it's like, right, yeah, right. I mean, it really is. I mean, I didn't want that full responsibility to do like 85 images, but like, I was like, okay, I can do two filler images. And then I styled like, like 10 other recipes and they had the Riker brothers shoot those 10 here in my apartment. And that was like a shit show that day, but we got it all done and it was worth it because I did really want it so picture forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's just, it because it, it it is that kind of book, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. And, and the fans that are watching this, they want to see an image of the recipe, you know? Sure, because yeah. it brings it to life. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And it also yes. reminds them the, that you're kind of giving them the essence of the scene where it kind mm-hmm. of came from, so it all ties yeah. together. What what has the response been from the housewives? Because I know I've seen a few of them um, shared it on their stories. Have you gotten any like feedback from any particular ones that have a little blip in here as their own little recipe from a moment? Has anyone reached out or like, well, been, like- no tomorrow? This is a little exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. This is an tomorrow, exclusive. and I kind of told you this, Amy, that it would happen eventually, but it's actually happening tomorrow. Is Amy I'm going out about this right now too. You're, yeah, I don't know what he's talking cut, about. No, I mean, <laughs> the, I, I told her a few weeks ago and stuff. I actually had to, I asked her permission. I was like, no, but, um, tomorrow I'm going down to Kelly Dodd's house in the OC oh. and we're going to shoot, we're going to make the burger, the oh cougar burger God, together. Oh, fun. Yes, finally. Okay, that's great. That's you know, I bitch, mean, hand me the spatula. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm such a little bitch. I'm trying to make these burgers, you dumb bitch. I really want her to do that tomorrow to me. I just really do. I would love it if she would just yell at you the whole time. Just know. call me like a dumb bitch. Like just that, <laughs> that's enough, you know? There's a cougar on the loose. <laughs> You're actually, a little bitch, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I would love, if she ever said that to me, I would die. I actually met her when I was living in New York. She's actually like, She's so funny. Yeah. I don't yeah. even think she realizes how she just like. She just doesn't just, think yeah. when she just talks. Yeah, she's just yeah, like, yeah. whatever comes out of her mouth. Like, I mean, I'm scared. Like, cause she was like, come down, we'll make the burger and they'll take you out. I'm like, oh, fuck. And so we're like, she's taking me out of new, she's taking me out of Newport tomorrow. Like we're having an afternoon together and like, we're probably going to oh, happy hour. God, I'm, stay, I'm staying crazy. over at her house tomorrow night. Are you serious? Yeah. What? She's like, stay with me, Rick. I'm like, Jesus. Okay. Oh, let's you're do gonna it. have so much fun. That'd be oh, fun though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you're so gonna have a bender for sure. Yeah. I can tell they they love you can tell they just love to have a yeah. good time. They're so cool oh, like, so about cool. everything. Well, tell um, her I said hi. I will, yeah. I know for sure. <laughs> so watch out for my stories oh, tomorrow. I Jesus. <laughs> Just the bash, backlash I'll get. <laughs> Speaking of the housewives, are you guys watching any of the current seasons or following anything that's happening lately? With what? Well, OC, let's start with OC because that yes. came on last night. I watch night. all the shows because I have to recap. I recap mm-hmm. them on my Sirius XM show, which is daily uh, called Reality Check on Radio Andy, Sirius XM, 4 p.m. <laughs> Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. Um, yes, uh, Orange County. Wow, that dinner party was one of the most awkward ones I've ever seen. And uh, I'm so glad that Fancy Pants is back because this is the type of content that I want. I want someone to be uh, so ir- irritated inside seething that the amuse bouche was not listed first and can't wait to tell the guests and clear it up right out of the gates. The amuse bouche is not first on the menu, but it is. I'm just letting you know. I'm sorry about that. Like, I, that, this is what I signed up for. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Did you find it a little strange though when Terry was like first met Ryan and he was like, Oh, you don't drink cocaine, heroin? And I'm like, What? (laughs) I know. I I was like, Okay, let me let me think about this for a second because I was like, All right, I know when I'm trying to like lighten the situation, I just say stupid shit. So I'm like, I'm guessing Terry's just trying to be funny and just completely failing because that was so awkward. He's like, yeah, no, I, I, I don't do heroin or cocaine. I mean, I don't He's know. so serious though. Like that. He that is. Husband. I did. He's I, just, I oh, and he's hot, but like, he's just a bit serious for me. 
I feel like he just doesn't want to be on the cameras. But that's what I kind of feel yeah. like. I he feel doesn't like... want to be on the show. I agree. No, he doesn't. It's just and he doesn't want to be and... married to her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, just pack it up and I leave. mean, can this we is... just get divorced right away? Because, like, their compatibility could not be more, like, they're it's, not compatible. It's fucking hard to watch sometimes. Yeah, it's really And I'm wondering, watch. when she talks about how they met, I'm like, were you guys drunk when you met and just like, <laughs> just didn't care? Like, I don't Seems know. Seems that way, right? Also yeah. treats him kind of like a child. Yes, yes, yes. And I kind of like, I was like feeling bad for him last night. I, I was, was like, too. oh my God. What was so funny at the end was like, here she is trying to be a part of like this high society and she really wants this. She wants this so bad. And then she ends up looking like the asshole drunk. And he, everyone's like, Ryan's Ryan's so sweet you know like he's the one who kind of won in the end as awkward as it was I felt I just but it was funny because it was clear when she got there and Heather goes drink up I was like oh yeah here we go she's gonna overserve her and let her set herself up for this dinner party that's why she invited her to and I love the way she set it up for her e-show too I picked up on that last yeah, I mean did we you like it was just a brilliant. big advert for it yeah, like totally. yesterday it was... she's like let me help you yes yes <laughs> yes it was a very much like a, a Beverly Hills into Vanderpump rules situation you know mm. I almost or felt like we sure. were gonna go right into that yeah, like they're gonna break us into that episode, <laughs> yes. like they did. Just a crossover, <laughs> and like they're yes. the first clients. <laughs> yes. yes, I mean, honestly, they just should have done that. I mean, that hundred percent. That just, but I did want to know what they were drinking. Uh, that wine. I mean, if, when you're that drunk, and all you can say is like, "This is very, very good wine." What wine was it in the end? Do you know what it was? But you know, the Bellows like own a winery, don't they? Those guests, don't they? Like, oh, that, I think so. Yes. Maybe it was their wine. I don't know. It, it was probably really good, and I want some. probably was their wine. Yeah. Sure, it was, but I I don't know. It, it I don't I I felt awkward the entire time, but oh, it was like. But then the painful. minute they left, Terry was like, "They're a mess." I, I know. Like, no, don't go to him for marriage counseling because God only knows what he would say. I was kind of like, "That is harsh," and I and and you could see the empathy or the compassion in Heather's face. She was like, "Don't say that." Like I, I know. I was kind of like, "Don't." <laughs> Like, but at the same time, like we're all thinking it because that was such a mess. I was, I felt bad. I'm like, Ryan, you should have been able to bring your dog. Like that would have been a perfect, like a therapy dog. Like we all needed that therapy dog there that night at that dinner. It was um, too much. I was holding my dog during that dinner because <laughs> I felt so <laughs> awkward for him. And I was picturing, I don't know why I just always put myself in their, in their shoes. I'm like, if that was me, I would be like. I got to go to the bathroom and I would leave. I know he practically, yeah. I wouldn't want to sit there. Cause especially when she's there. like, no, turn your chair. Oh. Like, and I'm like, angulate. I'm like, you're just fun. Aren't you? <laughs> like I, Oh, what do you guys think of um, Noella as the new housewife? What are your thoughts on her? No. Oh. Awful. Just, like, just, just a housewife just, on steroids. Like it's too just much. a grenade. You too know much, what I mean? Like I mean, you almost put her feels on like, like she like... created a caricature of all the housewives that yeah. she studied yes. from. Do you know what I'm yes. saying? Like she took bits from totally. every single one. And I it dawned on me when I watched Watch What Happens Live last night when she was on. Mm -hmm. And she everything was like overly like, you know, like when I think he said, say three nice things about Heather Debro. And she was like, We've already been there, Andy. I don't have anything. No, no. no. And yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, really? You're so new. You can't be this cocky. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I don't know. She it's won't weird. be back. She has like I don't a very entitled mm -hmm. approach to being on the show almost. Yes. Like she's doing them a favor. Mm -hmm. It's weird. And I totally clear that she's coming for Heather because she knows that'll give her the most screen time. So I know she's uh -huh. done her homework, but yes. it's just yeah. coming off like it's, I, that's also cringe like her like random friend that she went and had like drinks with last night that we've never met no that was so random <laughs> I was so like weird. oh wow meanwhile and this that woman's story probably, like, made no sense I was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like is that Nicole Weiss Nicole Weiss is that you um with an accent Nicole um, that story was so bizarre. She was like, I'm in a building and I can see his plan. I'm like, I don't know what I'm checked out. I need to fast forward this scene. It was very strange. And it's just too much drama. Like you said, she is, um, she's like a hurricane of all not good things about housewives. And the problem with that is that we can smell that a mile away and we don't, we love to hate, but we don't love to hate to hate. And that's, that's where we're at with her. And that's, why I don't think that she should be coming back because we all hate her too much. Yeah, I'll be surprised if she comes back. I don't think the feedback on her has been 
amazing. Like, there just is no balance. You know what I mean? Right. Well, I think it's just, consistently it's just everyone continually says the hating. same thing. Mm-hmm. Everyone says the yeah. same thing. It's so staged feeling. Yes. Like it's yes. like, um, what about Salt Lake City? Have you guys, what are your oh. thoughts on how I pop in and out of that? Have you been able to watch it? Have you been able to watch it? I don't know. Um, I watched, well, I watched the reunion, but I watched it, I was drunk, so I had to watch it again. <laughs> and then, um, and like, yeah, I was, <laughs> I, I like, I know some of the stories and stuff like that. It's just, it's just bizarre. Like, why are they all coming for Lisa? Like, I don't, I know. Oh my God, they hate that. her. They hate her so much so. Mm-hmm. So much so. It was, in- can, just really quick before you go, was this, what I'm getting the feeling is that moment when she was in the bathroom, it was a producer that had the microphone. I mm-hmm. don't think it was hers. Because wasn't she talking about that? Right. In, yeah, right. they were like, yeah. "I trusted you." you were da, 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 whatever. They yeah. do that a that lot. They, they bait them into making them feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. But there's a boom mic always somewhere, yeah. mm-hmm. and the reason why I know that is because a lot of followers were like trying to point out to me. They're like, "No, it was a hot mic. She just made it seem. Why did she come out and throw the mic at the producer?" And I said, "Because she already had it in her hand." Mm-hmm. And I think at that point she went into the bathroom and he baited her, I think, into the rant. I think mm-hmm. he said, what's going on? Why are you walking away? You know, like producers do. Yeah. And then she went into the bathroom and she unloaded. I, I'm not saying what she said and how she went about it was right, but how many times, I mean, I'll speak for myself. I've had issues with a, fr- you know, a friend in the past and you, you just get to a limit and we don't know everything that's happened between her and Meredith either, mm-hmm. or what we haven't seen, or haven't seen rather, but they totally use that. And I think she, I think she even calls them out on it at the reunion. She's like, yeah, you guys totally use that up. rant against mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. And now it's going to give them a reason to come after me because obviously like Mary didn't show up. So there's mm-hmm. no one else to go after. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, right. Right. And Heather is just like going nuts. It's so and funny. then no one's talking to Jen about anything. And, nope. they're just <laughs> sat, just sat, and then like settling up next to her, everything's fine. But you, you'll you let, you'll be mad at her for calling you a Lego, which she didn't even do. Okay. It was Angie who sent the picture. Lisa <laughs> just accepted the text. Like, that's why I'm, I'm like, she, she called you a freaking freaking Shrek. And then Jen that like that well, photograph was so funny. Clarify, though. called you Shrek because you were being an ogre. Uh let's just we are called her Shrek. He still we, insulted we, her when she explained I, it. And she still was like, I know it's fine. But yeah, then when she went fine. after Lisa and was like, I have all this dirt on you and I'm not holding back. She's like, you got a DUI. She's right. Like, no, I didn't. <laughs> Which well, then I got that was fact checked. I got pummeled on TikTok because I sh- I, I literally shared the sun broke this. Ex, it wasn't an exclusive. They just dug up her. Like I saw that. Yeah. I read records. Their thing, and yeah. Yes. They did. They did dumb it down to reckless driving. So right. people in the comments were like N- the Heather stands because, you know, she has a, and I get mm-hmm. it. She's, she's a very likable character. She's very authentic in, in a lot of aspects, but I feel like, reunion Heather is different than Heather on the show like she's almost like mm-hmm. holds on to stuff throughout the season and then she comes and then she's just like but she clearly doesn't like Lisa and I think the whole cast is gonna use her as the villain but I think they, she knows that I, I I really like I love the cast I I have no problem at the end of the day with what anyone's doing because it's making for such a good show mm-hmm. but it is wild to me that they're getting Heather gets so mad at Lisa when Lisa is playing the game of being a housewife as everyone is on that show, everyone is making moves as a housewife as they should so that we can watch a nice show. And yet then Heather, just this whole season has been sitting back and only responding to stuff, responding and judging instead of actually being in the game. Like she's benched herself. And that to me is kind of annoying. Then you're Mm -hmm. getting to the reunion and maybe you're feeling like, oh, I didn't really bring it this season. So now I have to like put my dukes up and really go after somebody. And I feel like last season, Lisa was a little bit of a sleeper during the whole season. And then we got to the reunion and she was like, bad weather, (laughs) you know, like (laughs) all of a sudden she was just like, oh, we should all turn on Jen. Like it just got really weird. 
weird. And like, we're like, where did this come from? And just Lisa was going off, you know, going bonkers. So it seems like Heather almost took a page out of Lisa's book from last season. And it just, it does not add up. It does not make sense. Um, I do love Heather. I love the whole cast, but it is, she makes very strange choices. Very strange. I would say so. I mean, she, I don't know the whole, the, the DUI thing, I think is petty, but I think Heather kind of brought it on herself. You know, when you start right. digging like that, you almost want to be like, be, make sure you don't have stuff in your stuff. And she did look, she was pulled over and she had amphetamines. She was taking, she had mm. been drinking and she was on Adderall and she got busted. So well, she look. said she had a few sips at the club. Yeah. A few sips at the club. Just a few I love it. Right. That's exactly I mean, what I would on, say too. On. Don't you guys exactly just go out I to a club say. and have a few sips of your friend's cocktail. I think she no, had a friend's drinks. <laughs> I just had a few sips of my friend's drinks. I didn't have a whole anything. But she fought the breathalyzer and then <laughs> they had to, she fought the breathalyzer and then they, she got the blood taken and she was 0.06. So, you know, I mean, the, the bottom line is you were drinking and driving period. Okay. Totally you busted. And you do have skeletons in your closet. Uh, a lot of people have gotten DUIs. So why don't you, I mean, I, the fact that it was like her jail time was, you know, brought down to like, oh, from 148 hours of community service to like nothing. It's like, go sit in the corner. That's all she yeah. got. Yeah. It was like a total slap in the wrist, but yeah. I mean, it'll be interesting to see. They're already filming season three, but we, um, I'm excited for Beverly Hills because I know that that's coming up really soon. And there's just so much stuff with Kathy and Lisa Renna. So Oh, it's gonna be so know. good this season. That, it's gonna be the burglary, like the read, like being dramatic. Like it's gonna be great. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna get a lot of stuff in Beverly Hills this oh, time. Oh, it's gonna be jam packed. <laughs> you might need to make a whole new uh cookbook, like another version to like keep up. Yeah, I know. That'd be hard. like volumes. Because now we know what it's about. We have how we did the first one. If we got a second yeah. one, like we've just we would have no problem doing it now. I know we'll just use all the uh recipes that we didn't use <laughs> in the first one, plus the salt, plus Salt Lake City. Yeah. Lake oh my gosh, so you now you have Salt Lake City, and then Miami is back as well. Oh, right, yes. that's true. Yes, yes. So then yeah. you could actually you could actually go back to all the Miami old episodes and start getting no recipes will, from no that. No one will remember that. No one will remember. Wasn't as iconic. Okay. I don't know. You know what? I, I, don't I think can't you... think of one thing. No, the there wasn't in a Miami lot from back in the day. They never really gave it a full chance. I feel like I think mm -hmm. they they I think it was before its time. If I'm honest, I agree, and I never wanted it to end. I was Me so either. bummed when it ended. I was I'm so, so disappointed. glad they brought it back. I am loving Miami. I just watched part one of the reunion this morning, oh. and I was like sobbing. Oh my! It's God. really emotional. Oh Jesus! It's a it's Alexia, isn't it? Oh Jesus! <laughs> it's, no, it's Julia. Oh, it's wild. And I okay. just um I interviewed Marisol, and apparently Lisa drops something really heavy. Marisol says that was like really heavy for the for everyone to hear. Oh so I'm gosh. like, I think obviously I think it's having to do with her marriage. Okay, it's not her but... new veneers. <laughs> Something really heavy happened. Okay, so the 2014th. Oh no, something happened to the 23rd. Oh God, what did you do, Doctor Doctor Appa? <laughs> I just feel bad for her. I feel like her husband just doesn't like her, and he just—it's just so clear. But I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'm so happy you guys came on finally. I've been begging. Um, oh my God, no! I mean, we were just to like get doing this so together, much. and to the point where I felt like one day they're going to be like, "Can you please block?" <laughs> No, I was like, so we need to go online because I feel like so bad because, you know, I wanted to do this. And Amy was pre-recording that that new, the All Diamonds oh, and Rosé. Yeah. So she was like hours in the studio day and it's just, she was You were busy. Yeah. I was busy, honey. I'm You're busy, honey. Hustling, Giorgio, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. So why don't you, so Amy, tell us where we can, I know you already like plugged yourself, but plug <laughs> yourself again. Oh, <laughs> I'm on radio <laughs> Andy channel 102 series XM and awesome. on, on and Instagram. Yes. Tell us where we can follow you, uh, uh chef Stewart. And then you can follow me on Instagram at chef Stuart O'Keefe. And then if you want to get to know the real me, if you tune into Jeff Lewis live two or, three, <laughs> two or three times a month, I'm on there too, on his serious XM. I'm one of the chunks now. So that, that's a lot of fun. Um, he seems like he's wild. 
That's amazing. It's like he it's looks the like he's funnest a hour I he ever really had. Goes, he's good at the questions, I have to say. Oh, he, like, yeah. he knows how to get there. There's always a bit of like a fear going into the studio when you go into that show because you just like we sit down and have coffee before we go in and like he kind of gives you maybe like 40% of what he's going to talk about. And then he just like lands these questions at you and you just have to like, you just have to hit them straight on and just go for it. <laughs> And um, yeah, go with the flow is the best. Yeah, I feel exactly. Like, you know? and just be yourself, and I'm like, I don't. It's yeah, never, I don't hold back. It always comes off robotic. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. Thank again. you so much, this everyone. Make sure you. you go get your copy. I'm gonna link it in my bio, and I'm also gonna post it in my stories. So I know you guys. Congrats on being on People um, Magazine's list. That's big and huge, cool. and I can't wait to see. I'm actually probably gonna stalk you guys when I do throw a dinner party because I'll probably take five million photographs and oh, want your yes, approval. Please, please, we'll share them all. Please, yeah, please, and please. So, please. I will probably ask you guys to come on later when Beverly Hills comes back on because Amy, you guys both need to be a part of the conversation. But until next yeah. time, guys, thank you so much. And I will talk thank to you, you guys very soon. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.